Howdy there, cowpokes, and welcome back to 10 Insane Details You Probably Didn't Know in Red Dead Redemption 1. This time, we're actually going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to be going through all possible strangers that you can come up to in the epilogue while playing as Jack after you have initiated the missions as John. A lot of times, strangers will recognize Jack or ask if they have seen him before, as seeing that he looks very similar to how John looked back in the main missions of the game. You're making a big mistake. Sorry, Nestor. I know who you are. See, si, see. Si. Hey, mister. I heard about you. Yeah, sure you did. <laughs> you that boy killed Bill Williamson over in Mexico. No, you got me mistaken, partner. I ain't. Boy told me all about you as soon as you come to town. Town? Is that what you call this place? Well, what's wrong with cesspit? <laughs> who look just like you passed through here a few years back. Here are your flowers, mister. Well, thank you. Not many around these parts that help an old man with such a task. Thanks again, stranger. Come on in, have some tea with me and Annabelle. I'm sure she'd love the company. All right, maybe just for a few minutes. It's my other half, lovely Annabelle. Uh... Much obliged. You ready? Whoa! I met you before. Are you related to Martin by any chance? Is that you? You look younger. Do you have it? I've been waiting for years, wringing my hands with expectation. That sounds unpleasant. Oh, this is it. Yes. Yes. We're in luck. Do you know what this might be? Well, it's got to be around here someplace. Is it really? Yes, it looks like it's in those caves over there. Brasilio, wait! You over there! Have we met somewhere before? Hey, Hello? you look just like this fella I met a few years back. Howdy, miss. Hello, mister. I got you some money. Oh, you are very kind, very kind. And how's Harold? How's my Harold? Well, it didn't go so well. well. I'm afraid he's dead. Dead? <gasps> uh, unfortunately so. I, I, I must go to his grave. Well, I'm afraid I don't know where that is. Oh, he'll be buried in the cemetery in the family plot. If I hurry, I can, I can make it to his funeral. Dear Lord, is this a ghost before me? Do you have a brother, young man? My boy, you are a dead ringer for a man I met a few years back. Intoxication is well, a sin! Well. A sin, a sin, a sin, I tell you! Hey there, mister. Good to see you, my friend. Decided to join me and recant the evils of the bottle? I <laughs> uh, keep wishing, partner. Now, you best be moving on soon. The fellas around here want you dead. Oh. I guess the path of God will lead me elsewhere in this benighted kingdom. Thank you for sparing the life of a poor servant. Kindly, take this. Hey, you take care of yourself, Abner. Yeah. Young man, can you give me a hand? Damn sport. You really are someone to be riding the river with. I think you've done outlived your welcome down these parts, Jimmy. 
I'd get out while the going's good. Oh, you're right about that. There is something about nearly dying several times that hasn't given the old muse the kick up the backside that I was expecting. I can't write a joke for a pile of fresh turd. No more of this cowboy business for old Jimmy. I think I might take up music or war reporting. I feel like I've seen you somewhere before. You have a very familiar face, my boy. I can't quite place it. I feel like I've seen you somewhere before. You have a very familiar face, my boy. I can't quite place it. Mr. McKenna, what are you doing here? I thought you were running a film company. Oh, my boy, how the fates have spurned me. The muses cajole and lament my foolish nature. The hubris. The hubris! Well, it gets the best of us. I've lost everything. Every last dime I invested in that studio is gone. The production was delayed by weather. That fool Spatchcock fell in love with the cameraman and ran off to Canada. Damn you, the gods of bad weather! And the hearts. Hey, do I know you? Oh, did that Marston fella send you with my deed? Yes. Here you go. Well. Ah, oh, you're about as hollow as anything I've All right. Good of you to put your own money up for the deed. There you go. There's a little something extra in there for you. Always best when these transactions go smoothly. Particularly when you can make more money out of it. Hmm. Good luck with the property, McAllister. Oh, yeah. You! You there! Don't I know oh, yeah. you? Who are you? Your face looks terribly familiar. Mr. Tollitz, got your money. Thank you, sir. Yes, thank you. Knew your father was a sort to be trusted. Fine fellow. Fine fellow indeed. Unlikely to run off and report me to the authorities, what? <laughs> report what, Tollitz? Well, the Dagos here don't appreciate the terrible needs we answer. Now, building a country's hard, sir, it's hard. I opium's nasty business, but it's necessary. Necessary. Opium? What do you mean you didn't even sneak a taste of that package? <laughs> Are you mad, sir? That's fine stuff. Straight from Ongo Bongo land, uh, somewhere. <laughs> you, you. My God, you look just like this fella I knew. Hey, Sam. Sam Odessa? What are you doing? Are you all right? Uh, you, you look just like your father, Mr. Uh, Mr. Mansion, right? How you doing? Let's see. <laughs> Mansion. I kind of like that. You okay out here? Well, yeah. Why well, ain't you supposed to be headed for California? Yeah, I, I found it. The coach it wasn't so much in my liking. It was, it was a little bit slow, a little bit predictable, and a touch mundane. But the, but these these cacti are, are are quite palatable. I hope they are. Wake him up a little. There's some folks who don't deserve it.